So if you land it here, that probably means you're thinking about taking the Coursera uh, and Google digital marketing certification. Hi, I'm Maurice Davis. I'm a certified digital marketing strategist, and I've decided to take the Coursera Google digital marketing certification. And just to see what was in there, I kind of have a morbid curiosity of the content that's in there uh, in the program to see what type of information they're going through. So I've decided to do a day by day or course by course uh, overview of the content and just provide some feedback of things that you as a learner may be able to do in order to improve uh, your learning experience while going through the content and also deepen your understanding of the content from the perspective of someone that already has experience in the industry. To kind of give you some context, I've been doing digital marketing for a little over three years now. Um, before that, I was in sales training and uh, did a little bit of traditional marketing. Um, and I learned digital marketing by reading books and getting on YouTube and uh, downloading all the free white papers and online courses obviously this was pre the Google certification. So now that they've launched the certification, I'm sure there'll be more people that take them up on the ability to go through this course. Now, my objective is to just provide as much value as I can as I go through the course content. Um, and each of these videos will be an overview of what I feel like I gained or felt like was missing from that particular piece of course content. So let's jump into it. I just finished week one of the Google foundation. Uh, what is it? The foundations of digital marketing. Uh, and essentially that particular class is really just trying to get your feet wet. Uh, you're not going to learn anything about digital marketing per se, not the technical aspect, right? It's really talking more about the uh, roles, the different roles that are available in digital marketing. And it's trying to give you a pretty good over uh, overview of what it means to be a digital marketing professional. Uh, I think this is a very important week. Take your time, go through it, take notes. If honestly, if you take notes as you're going through this first week, the uh, weekly challenge at the end of week one, you really shouldn't have a hard time completing. I was able to, I was able to pass it with an 85%. I missed one and a half points, uh, with only doing a quick overview of their terms, making sure I understand Google's definitions. Um, there are some multiple choice questions, uh, and some radio button questions that you'll spend some time uh, answering. As far as my assessment so far, it's only the first week. I don't really have any negative feedback, but I don't have a lot of like really positive things to say at this point either because I've just gotten into the content. It didn't take me very long to get through this. Uh, if you're if you're a fast learner or you watch videos on 2x speed or one and a, one and a half times speed, you'll be able to get through the content quicker. But if you're new to this content, you may need to spend the full two hours on this course content. I think they I think they have an outline for about three hours worth of content. Um, so again, take your time. It is worth you slowing down to just see what's there. As I start getting through the weeks, I may be able to give you some more insight as to like, hey, you know, you could really fast forward through this section. Uh, you probably could skip this piece. But right now, I don't have that insight yet. So you and I will be learning this process together. I'm interested to see what they have in week two. I was probably able to complete the entire week one in about uh, 45 minutes to an hour uh, tops. Uh, that's with me taking breaks to do work for my clients and, and some other things like that. So uh, again, not a very like hard section. I am gonna jump, jump over to do week two. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today or not, but that means I'll probably be putting up another video within the next day or two about the content in week two. Um, I will be writing a medium article as well to kind of give some insight in a written context and linking the two together so that you'll be able to find the information, uh, in the medium articles, I'll be sharing some resources. Uh, it looks like the, the, uh, Google provides, uh, terms at the end of each section. So I'll be adding those to a Quizlet flashcard, or at least that's my plan at this point. Uh, and I will link those into, uh, the Quizlet 
And then any other study resources that I think are important for this week, there was a, a decent amount of sections that we're talking about reading. If you're not a big reader, uh, I would suggest a text to speech app. I'll link a text to speech tool that I've used in the past um, in the medium article. So that's available to you. Uh, that's about it, right? Like this is, this is just something I decided to do. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's something in particular you would like for me to talk about as I'm going through and reviewing the content or some in particular that you would find helpful for this review uh, so that I can improve these videos as I continue to move forward. I appreciate you and have a great day.